Angelos TV, God's voice that brings hope to the nations. And now to Rev. Michael Zas. Praise the Lord. You know, that was amazing. It's not just that he fights, but he is with you. He goes with you into the battle. So don't think that you are alone. Don't think that you are alone. And that really brings to the fore um, Psalm 23, which says that um, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil because thou, O oh God, art with me. And he has promised that he will never leave you and he will never abandon you. Now in Deuteronomy chapter 3 and verse 22, we get another message for you today. This is, I'm just reminding you of the covenant of God, the covenant of protection, the covenant and his commitment to fight your battle, the covenant that God has made with you. Look at what he says in Deuteronomy 3.22. You shall not fear them, for it is the Lord your God who fights for you. So when enemies come, uh, gather against you, when they put all their arsenals, lies, deceptions, rumors, everything that they come up with, scandal upon scandal, when your enemies gather against you and come up with every lie against you, you should not be afraid. You should not be worried of anything because Jehovah God is going to fight your battles and he's going to give you victory. So you don't have to be worried about anything. You just need to put your trust in him and he's going to give you victory and deliverance. I'll repeat, you shall not fear them. Don't fear the enemy. Now, there is something about the devil. You know, what, when, when, what the devil does is always to magnify the enemy armies in your eyes with the purpose of melting your faith. You remember that the, the spies who went to Canaan land to spy the land? They were 12. 10 when they came back, they said, we looked like grasshoppers in front of these people. The enemy will always want to give you a false perception of the strength of the enemy. And he will also give you a false perception of, your own weak, of, of, of who you are. He will show you how weak you are, how, an, how inadequate you are. How unprepared you are. Brother, I want you to know this. This is not your battle. It's the Lord's battle. If you are fighting for the cause of righteousness, if you are fighting for the cause of truth, God is on your side and is definitely going to fight for you. And you are with God on your side because you are standing for that which is true. So you don't have to fear them. There, there must be no ounce of fear for those who come against you. Look straight in their face and tell them you won't defeat me. Is it witches? Is it thugs? Who, who is surrounding you? They will not do you any harm. In 1999, um, in Nairobi, around Kawangware at night, uh, Sarah and I had just visited friends and we were coming back. And thugs came and surrounded us. And I remember one of them put their knife on my, on my throat and told me that I should give them everything or they are going to chop off my head. And friend, let me tell you, there was such a tremendous boldness in me. You know, instead of crying and being scared and begging, and begging them for mercy and clemence or lenience, I laughed at them. And I told those young men, you can do me no harm. And they said, 
And you know, they clicked and said, why? why is he saying like that? And I told them, because it is written about me. Touch not my anointed one and do my prophets no harm. I am the anointed of God. I am called of God. You cannot do me any harm. And when I say it like that, those, I don't know what happened to these boys. They, they just dropped the, the knife and they ran away and they left me and we walked into our house. There is need for us to believe in God. To know that if we show that confidence in God, I can assure you the enemy is not going to outwit us. He is not. And that is what I want you to know. Be steadfast in the faith. Because he will never leave you. And God has the ability to blindfold your enemies. He has the ability to cause them to tremble. He has got the ability to strike them with thunderbolts and everything. He has the ability to strike them with blindness as he did in the days of Elisha. You remember? When the Aramites surrounded the house of Elisha and they were ready to destroy Elisha, what happened? They were all blind. Has the God changed? No, he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Is he a God of favorism? No, he has no favorism. He did it for Elisha. He will do it for you. He's a God of Sebaoth, the God of battle. Let the Lord arise and let your enemies be scattered. Amen. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you. And I give you praise and glory because of your faithfulness and goodness. You are a miracle working God. Lord, we will never be scared of our enemies because we know you are on our side. And as the apostle Paul puts it, greater is he that is in us than those stupid demons that are in the world. God, we are victorious because you are on our side. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This broadcast was brought to you by Angelos TV. To continue enjoying this spiritual nourishment, Click on subscribe button below. Click on the notification bell to become the first to know when we upload another video. Thank you and see you in our next broadcast.